I want to illustrate uh, why there is so much piracy and how it can be solved, at least for movies and, and for in independent filmmakers, document filmmakers. So this is Yahoo. This is the number four website on the internet. Yesterday, it reached approximately 22% of all internet users. And having a, an ad in, in this site, I've heard, can cost up to $250,000 a day. $250,000 a day to have this ad here. Well, today, um, there's this article, The Most Dangerous Man in China. So you go there, and it's about a film made by uh, Alison Clayman. And it's quite interesting. It, it's about a dissident in China. So the first thing I do is Google for the name of the movie, and then I find the website. And fine, it says here, you know, it was uh, official selection for Sundance. Great. And if you click here, all you get is a three-minute three minute teaser. There's no way that I can just hit watch this film, pay for it. Uh, it's not on YouTube uh, movies. It's not on Amazon Instant Video. So how long do you think it's going to be until that film ends up here? If you go back to the website, they have a shop section. And you can buy all sorts of stuff. Great. That's awesome. But you cannot buy the movie on 2012. It's like you're doing a film about, self, about a country that censors a man, and you're self-censoring. You are not showing the film. This is a story that I think it's very important, especially at this time when SOPA and ACTA and PIPA and all this stuff is happening. You get free promotion on Yahoo. I mean, she would have probably have to pay $250,000 if you wanted to put an ad here. You get millions of people coming to this site probably during the next month, and none of them can watch the film. What do they do?